All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, or Kakadash. All right, Shalom, brothers and sisters in this truth. I'm your brother, Ms. LJ, coming to you again with another headlines from Great Babylon and around the world. And today I'm going to talk about this um, topic that's been going around for the last uh, few months, but really has taken headlines in the last couple of weeks. Uh, it's in regards to something called critical race theory. Now, to us in this truth, we know that this is actually Yahweh by Shimei Shai exposing Esau and making Esau a bear by having them look into the mirror and see that they are really the wicked. And, and also in the case of this critical race theory that's being now taught in school, but is being banned in several different locations uh, of this country. And I'll show you a map of that. Uh, Yahweh by Shimei Shai is also awakening uh, people that are, that are dead. So we all know about the, the, the dry bones, the, the dry bones here in the land of Egypt. This is the, 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 the valley of death. And now our people are getting that refreshing, uh, refreshment to the life right now, understanding that we have enemies amongst us daily. Now, I'm going to start off with this video here. This is from the four star. This is the, the chief of staff from the army. This is the guy that actually runs the entire United States military. Uh, he's just under the uh, Secretary of Defense, uh, uh, that Lloyd Austin. Okay, now listen carefully to this, and I will pause it at a certain part that you need to listen to because our people are con consistently following their vain ideas that they are citizens of this wicked kingdom and also they have rights and are part of the amendment. But listen to what he says. Okay. First of all, on the issue of critical race theory, etc., I'll, I'll obviously have to get much smarter on whatever the theory is. Um, but I do think it's important, actually, uh, for those of us in uniform to be open-minded and be widely read. And the United States Military Academy is a university. Uh, and it is important that we train and we understand uh, and I, I want to understand white rage, and I'm white, and I want to understand it. So what is it that caused thousands of people to assault this building and try to overturn the Constitution of the United States of America? What caused that? I want to find that out. Now, he's going to find out, uh, basically, that, uh, and this is going to come in the future, okay, as they, 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 they really are going to try to whitewash this, as they always do, okay? But he, what he's going to find out is that they are keen, Okay, and we are able that they are Esau and we are Jacob, and that white rage is that 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 bloodthirsty uh, need for these Edomites, okay, to go and conquer everybody and take whatever they want, okay, and hold, not hold themselves accountable. And we have billions of examples of that right here on YouTube itself. But let me continue on with this. I want to maintain an open mind here, and I do want to analyze it. It's important that we understand that because our soldiers, sailors, airmen, marines, and guardians, they come from the American people. So it is important that the leaders now and in the future do understand it. I've read Mao Zedong. I've read, I've read Karl Marx. I've read Lenin. That doesn't make me a communist. So what is wrong with understanding, having some situational understanding about the country for which we are here to defend? And I personally find it offensive that we are accusing the United States military, our general officers, our commissioned, non-commissioned officers of being, quote, woke or something else because we're studying some theories that are out there. That was started at Harvard Law School years ago, and it proposed that there were laws in the United States, anti-bellum laws prior to the Civil War, that led to uh, a power differential with African Americans that were three quarters of a human being. When this See, now, listen to what he said. They, they've been studying this for decades, okay, that African Americans, you know, where they actually knew, okay, from the Constitution that we ignorantly didn't know that so-called African Americans, meaning us, blacks, are uh, three quarters of a human being. So henceforth, there is the answer right there. This is in green, in the, in, this is in green institutionally, and also this is in green uh, uh, chemically or, or, or in the mindset of these Edomites, okay? That's the reason why they look at you, your kids, as a furry animal. That's the reason why they look at you as some talking monkey ready to entertain them, all right? country was formed. And then we had a civil war and emancipation proclamation to change it. And we brought it up to the Civil Rights Act in 1964. It took another 100 years to change that. So look it, I do want to know. And I respect your service, and you and I are both Green Berets. But I want to know. And it matters to our military and the discipline and cohesion of this military. 
Okay, so as you can see here, right now Esau is battling Esau, and we all know the scripture that that talks about the Egyptians will go up against the Egyptians. Okay, they uh, this is going to be how you how by Shimei Shai one of the ways that he's going to be bringing them down. Okay, is to have them go up against each other. They got all the guns, they got all the resources, and they all vying for power. You're gonna have the poor Edomites going up against the rich Edomites. You're going to have the citizen, the citizen, uh, everyday Edomite going up against the governor and his military. Okay, and so you see, you have a lot of disagreement that's going on. Like that. Let's go into the scripture here. Let's go into the book of Jeremiah 16, starting with verse 17. It says, For mine eyes are upon all their ways. They are not hid from my face, neither is the iniquity hid from mine eyes. And yes, Yahweh Bashim Yahshai sees all the iniquities and all the bad things that these people have done to his people. Okay, uh, from from when we go way back uh, when we were when we were slaves uh, in all the other eras. Okay, these Edomites have consistently put us down, and in this time over this last five hundred year period, this has been the worst ever. Okay, and not only are they putting us down physically, but it's also destroying our people mentally. Okay, continuing. And first, I will recompense their iniquity and their sin double because they have defiled my land. They have filled my inheritance with the carcasses of their detestable and abominable things. What do we have this month is? This month is the, what is it? The, the flower month, the Batiman month, okay? Or what they celebrate in this the, the most abominable, the most abominable act that is in the scriptures, okay? So abominable that two cities were destroyed by Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, Shai, okay? Not to mention all the other filth that they're putting on television. You can't even turn television on right now without seeing some abomination, okay? Continuing, O oh Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come up upon thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Shall a man make gods unto himself and they are no gods? Okay, so these, these, these Edomites, these so-called white people are coming into the reality that they are the devil themselves. Okay, so now, as you can see here, and I'm going to show you um, right here what they show around here. Okay, so what it says, the fight to what wash U.S. history, a drop of poison is all you need. Okay, and so what they're going around right now is that they still want to have this togetherness. This is the reason why they come with all of this Black Lives Matter um, reparation and all these devious things here is to consistently uh, teach people, teach our people to continue to serve them because that's all this is all about. Okay, we're sorry that you know we have more privilege than you, but we're gonna take this, uh, you know, this money, this trillion dollars, and put infrastructures, and we're gonna put, you know, we're gonna build better schools to teach you more of our bullshit, you know, uh, and then you can be, you know, somewhat equal to us and have maybe housing or some shit like that. The reality is, is what they're not going to do is they're never going to teach from the scriptures. They're never going to go and tell you, okay, I'm going to bring out Deuteronomy 28 and I'm going to go all the way down to verse 68. And it says, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Hashai said, shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Okay. Now I can, I, I can make this lesson a very long lesson and show you the pictures of the ship and how we were stacked like sardines, but I'm not going to go there. You know by now. Okay, continuing, by the way off I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondsmen and bondswomen, and no man shall buy you. None of these other nations rescued us. The women were bit, whipped, raped, okay, and murdered. So were the men. We were whipped, raped, and murdered, okay? These faggots stuck their dick in a lot of, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of jakes. That's what they do, Okay? That's what they do, and murder us, and they continue to murder us to this day. So here is a map of the states. This is what this is a critical race theory here. These states are trying to bring it in here. So you can see here the red states, these in red here, these are the ones that are banned or restricting this. Uh, other states has taken no action or whatever the case is like that. Okay, now why is this so scary for, for these Edomites? This is scary for these Edomites is because they don't want to look into the mirror and see the fact is that they are fearing that this is going to somehow wake uh, people up and understanding that, you know, we have enemies around them. And how can you walk around all proud and feel entitled and how enjoy your life and have slaves, perpetual slave around you? It's if you keep them stupid, okay? But we don't trust this. Critical race theory don't mean shit to us. It doesn't mean shit to the man of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai who's putting this truth out there. It doesn't mean shit to you uh, brothers and sisters out there that are listening to this truth. Why? Because we know this is all lies. We only put our trust and faith into the Bible. Okay? 
only to the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. We know that we were brought here as a as as, as a punishment for uh, as a punishment for our sins that we committed in our past life. Okay, and we're going to serve that sentence. Okay, and we know that we are going to be redeemed. Those of us that repent. And we also know that we are going to see and watch our enemy fall. His queendom is going to fall. His people are going to starve. They're going to go to death by the famine, okay, by the animals, okay, and also by the sword. And eventually, uh, when Yahweh returns, he's going to destroy this place by the lake of fire, which is going to be those nukes that are going to come and the lasers coming from those chariots. So we don't give a crap about this. This, 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 this means absolutely not a damn thing. This critical race theory, okay? But it's fearful to them because when you look at this, take a look at these, you know, Edomites right here, especially these white, especially these so-called white women, okay? They're very proud that they can walk, you know, get their little horse hair flowing down their back like that. They smell like doggone mangy wet dog, you know. You better hope you don't stand up next to one of them when the dog on ring and they smell like damn dogs, okay? Right? They don't want to get, they don't want to let go. See, CRT is racist. So now they're trying to say it's, it's racism against them. No, the fact is, is it's going to come out that you are cave beasts. Okay, and it's going to be scriptural. So this is just another so-called white man ploy crap with another name to a critical race theory. No, you the, are, are the wicked of the earth. And we are waiting for your judgment. Okay, you are the wicked of the earth. So I just wanted to bring this out here. I have uh, some other lessons I'm going to be bringing out here. Uh, but you have these uh, great men of this kingdom are now concerned. They also want to know and they also want to bring it out. Why? When you go to when you go to boot camp, who's your boot camp? Who's who's the drill sergeant? Usually a Jake, okay. In the Marines, it's a Jake. Is it in the Army? It's a Jake, okay. In the Navy, it's Jakes. Who you think training their troops? I can guarantee you his boot camp or his instructors were with, 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 with Negroes. What do you call niggers in his head, probably, okay? So this is concerning to them because even though the population of Jake, okay, the Negroes are dark skinned because that's all they seem to be be putting on pressure on right there, and also the Latino tribe, okay, are serving in their doggone military make a part of that, and out of the most athletic, out of out of, out of one that's producing the best results in their military, and this is going to create some issue, okay. Now they want to get their hands on this, but see how Bashimi Ashai is bringing this out spiritually. This is just one part of the chess game. That how about Shimon Shai is playing with these doggone devils, okay? As this place implode on itself, okay? And everybody is seeing it. You are racist, you are wicked, and you are the devil that how about Shimon Shai has spoken, spoken to about us in, in the scriptures, okay? We see it. You are going to be put into captivity. You are going to go into a thousand years of hardcore slavery, and then you will be destroyed by Yahweh Shai. Okay? And with that, I'd like to give all glory and honor to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim Rakakadash. I'd like to give a shout out to the great millstone prophets and brothers out there, and to you brothers out there pushing this truth out fearlessly. And you sisters watching, Shalom.